The form for my wide panel bend again starts with a template. This time I'm using a set of trammel points to lay out an 18 inch radius on a piece of half inch MDF. The template gets cut out on the bandsaw and then shaped on the sander just as I did with the bent lamination form. I'll need six three quarter inch ribs for this form, traced from my template and cut out on the bandsaw. Once again, I'm using the router table to pattern cut my ribs. I need to keep these ribs separate though, so I'm using the template to cut each piece rather than stack them up like I did with the bent lamination form. I've also attached a fence to the underside of my template to make it easier to reference the pieces. With the ribs cut, it's time to start assembly. I'll need a platform to build the form on. Make it wider than the ribs by about an inch and a half and a few inches deeper than your finished panel. I'll also need some spacer blocks to put between the ribs. Measure the difference between the platform and the ribs and divide by the number of spaces. If this number is more than three inches, you'll want to add another rib. I like to use pocket hole screws to assemble jigs and fixtures. It's efficient and strong and I don't have to lay anything out. I'm using a Craig system jig here to drill out the pocket holes. To assemble the form, I start by adding a strip to the edge of the platform perpendicular to the direction the ribs will go. This helps to locate the ribs and make sure they line up. Then I begin to assemble from one edge making sure the rib is flush to the edge and tight to the block. The spacer blocks we measured for go between each rib. On the outside ribs I add a vertical spacer block to make the form stronger. Once the first rib is in place, the rest follow with spacers in between. The pocket hole screws do a good job locking everything in place. Continue the process until all the ribs are in place. I'll be skinning the form with a piece of 3 8 bending plywood. Apply glue to the ribs and then tack the ply in place. I've cut the plywood slightly oversized so I don't have to worry about alignment. With the ply tacked in place, the whole form goes into the vacuum bag to ensure the skin is evenly attached to the ribs. I make sure the bag is pulling down evenly as the air is evacuated. Once the glue has time to cure, I'll need to cut the excess off the skin. I'll be using a point fence on the bandsaw. The fence has a notch in it so it can be set up flush with the outside edge of the blade. 
Now I can simply run the edge of the form against the fence and it cuts off the excess material. This could also be done with a flush cut bit and a handheld router. The last steps are to add a center line to the form and then to cover the skin with packing tape for glue release. And now the form is ready for pressing.